Welcome back everyone to our YouTube channel. I am Ducado and here's the lesson 3 on Earth and Life Science. Don't forget to like, make a comment, then share and subscribe. Ito po ang ating link sa ibaba. Welcome learners to our educational videos in Earth and Life Science. Hopefully you will learn a lot, think a lot and explore a lot. Welcome to Lesson 3 on Earth and Life Science. Let's talk about minerals. I, again, I'm Sir Arnold from SDO Antipolo City. Minerals. The main definition of minerals are the following. It's naturally occurring or natural siyang nangyayari sa kapaligiran. Usually, it's an organic on substance or non-living. Crystalline solid siya. Then, it has a definite chemical composition. There are substances that meet three of the four criteria. Ang tawag naman sa kanila kapag tatlo lang ang namit nila ay mineraloids. Isang example niya na yung opal. Opal does not have an orderly arrangement of atoms. So, again, mineraloids yung mga hindi nakakompleto ng characteristics na minention natin earlier. How many minerals are there? Actually, there are 3,500 known minerals in the Earth's crust. Minerals combine to form all the rocks on Earth. So, kapag nag-combine sila, yung mga minerals na yan, it forms the rocks or mga bato. Rock type depends on mineral composition. 20 minerals combine to form 95% of all rocks on Earth. So, marami-raming minerals pala ang pinagsasama-sama para makaform ng bato sa mundo. Physical properties naman, all minerals have at least 9 physical properties that can be used to define, describe, and identify them as unique minerals. First na characteristic niya ay yung color. So, take a look at the pictures na meron tayo. Yan mga minerals na yan, may kanya-kanyang colors. Yung mineral kasi, yung mineral color, um, it can be in multiple colors. Then uh, it's not only one color. It could be very helpful and distinctive. Or it could be very ambiguous. So sa last turn man, it's the manner in which a mineral reflects light. Kapag tinapat mo ang isang mineral sa sinag ng araw or tinutukan mo ito ng liwanag, may, uh, dapat siya nagre-reflect. Kapag glassy, reflects light like a piece of glass or tumalbog yung liwanag sa kanya, that's glassy. Pag metallic naman, reflects light like a piece of metal dust, then it's metallic luster. So, dalawa, ulit, dalawa po yung ating, ano, ah, yung ating luster. Glassy luster and metallic luster. Sa straight naman, the, it refers to the color of the pulverized powder of a mineral. Kapag ikinaskas mo yung bato, doon sa pader or nagkaroon siya ng powder niya, powder form niya, tapos lumabas yung color niya, that's the streak. Okay? So, dito, may mga bato tayo na hindi lahat nagkakatulad. Like for example, sa cinnabar, gray siya sa color pag ikinaskas mo siya sa bato or sa isang papel, nagiging brown siya. Meron din tayong pyrite, Yun naman yung mga katulad niya na naka, uh, parehas ang color niya. The color could be different from the crystal's color and it's always distinctive. Another characteristic is the hardness. Ito yung scratchability ng mineral or a mineral's durability. Ito yung paano siya mababali o madudurog. It uses the most hardness scale with a rating system of 1 to 10. So, kung tisilipin natin dito, yung 1 yung very soft, then yung 10 yung hardest substance known to man. So, yung a straight plate, hardness of 7. Karamihan nasa 7, no? One example, yung lead, 1.5 yan. So, very soft yan. Yung tin, 1.8. Cadmium, 2.0. Zinc, 2.5. Silver, 2.7. Aluminum, 2.9. Copper, 3.0. Nickel, 3.5. Platinum, 4.3. Yung, yung iron, 4.5. Yung cobalt, 5.5. 5. 
yung tungsten 7.5 at yung chromium ay 9.0. So remember, ang bawat minerals ay merong kanya-kanyang hardness. Ito pa yung isang sample ng most hardness scale natin. Kung titinan po natin, yung talc, ito po yung pinaka pinaka soft na mineral. Ito yung ginagamit sa mga pulbo. Yan. Another is yung gypsum number 2 siya. Calcite number 3, yung fluorite sa so 4, apatite 5, autoclase 6, quartz 7, yung topaz o yung burial is 8, then corundum ay 9, at yung pinaka hard sa lahat ay ang diamond. Ayan. Another characteristic is the crystal shape or the external crystal form or crystal system. It, it refers to the set of faces that have a definite geometric relationship to each other. Usually, makikita yan sa ating picture ngayon na nagpo-form sila ng geometric relationship. This is not always shown clearly when crystals are growing and competing for space with other minerals. Hindi yan basta-basta makikita unless lalagyan mo siya magnifying lens. Ito yung mga common faces ng arrangement and angles. Ito yung una, isometric. Pag sinabi natin isometric, most symmetrical. Perfect yan halos. Three axes of equal length. All axes are at right angles to each other. Ito yung mga isometric system natin like cube, octahedron, and dodecahedron. Lahat yan ay example ng isometric phase arrangement and angles. We also have the tetragonal or similar to isometric naman. It has three axes, two equal length, and the third is longer naman. So, kung papansinin, tatlo yung axes niya, dalawang equal length, and yung pangatlong side ay mas mahaba. All axes at right angles to each other. So, ito yung sample natin. Oh. Meron tayong mga minerals na merong shape na tetragonal prism, dipyramid, and pyramid with prism. Then, we also have the hexagonal. Ito naman ay from the word hexagonal. Di ba po? Six. Three equal axes in the same plane. Intersect at angles of 60 degrees. A fourth axis at the right angle to the other three. Yan po yung napoform niya. We have the hexagonal prism and hexagonal dipyramid. Another is the orthorhombic. Three axes all unequal to each other. All axes intersect at right angle. So ito yung mga sample natin. Prism, dipyramid, and prism. Monoclinic naman, ito yung two non-equal axes at right angles to each other. A third axis is inclined to one of the first two. So, pansinin natin na ang monoclinic ay may dalawang sides na non-equal, pero yung, yung third axis naman niya ay inclined sa unang dalawa. Sa triclinic naman, three axes. All axes are inclined with respect to each other. So, ito yung mga triclinic system natin. Prism, prism, and dipyramid. Another characteristic is the mineral cleavage. Pag sinabi natin mineral cleavage, ito yung ability ng mineral na mag-break or madurog when struck along specific planes. It can be based on the bonding between atoms where the bonds are weakest, it has the breakage plane. Remember, mas mahinang, mas mahinang bonding ng atoms, mas mabilis madurog. Mas, mati, mas matibay na bonding ng atoms, syempre mas matibay yung mineral. E di mga sample natin, no? We have the cleavage in one direction or muscovite. Ito naman yung cleavage in two directions or feldspar. So, meron din tayo for three directions and meron din tayo for two directions. Then, another, ito yung mga iba pang cleavage ng minerals na napoform din ng crystals. We have the cubic. So, pag sinabing cubic, three cleavage, six faces, at right angles yan. Example natin yan ay yung halide. Another is yung octahedral. Four cleavages. Eight faces. Example natin ay yung fluoride. Dodecahedral. So, ito naman ay six cleavages. Twelve faces. Example natin ay spalerite. 
There are two cleavages also for faces of many possible angles. Meron din siyang third side na fractures irregular, irregularly. So, example niya na yung pyroxene, ampibol, and feldspar. We also have the basal, one cleavage and two faces yan. May mga mineral cleavages din tayo na walang cleavage. Example niyan ay ang quartz. There are also minerals na mayroong isang plane of cleavage lang o yung pagitan. Biotite. Ayan po. Ito po yung sinasabi natin cleavage part. Then, meron din tayong minerals na mayroong multiple planes ng cleavage. Ayan po, yung fluorite, halite, calcite. Another characteristic is the fracture. The way a substance breaks were not controlled by cleavage. Minerals with no cleavage generally break with irregular fracture. Kapag walang, kapag walang cleavage kasi ang isang mineral, irregular yung, magka, yung pagkakaroon niya ng cleavage. Pero kung meron niyang cleavage, naturally it will divide into two. Etong nasa picture natin ay isang example ng, ng mineral na walang cleavage Kaya ganyan na naging kanya. Kaya naging ganyan na kanya ang fracture. If minerals break with curved flat fracture surfaces, it is called conchoidal fracture. This is seen in glass, the igneous rock and like obsidian. So kapag ang fracture po ay nagkaroon ng curved fracture surfaces, kagaya niyang mga nasa picture natin curve yan, yan ay conchoidal fracture. Next is the specific gravity. The density of a mineral, ang pinag-uusapan dito, we have the density, mass of an object, or yung volume ng isang object or ng mineral. Ito yung ratio ng mass of an object to the mass of an equal volume of water. Kapag ang isang mineral niloblob mo sa tubig at yung distance niya ng pag-angat, that's the density. The density of pure water is 1 gram milliliter. If the density of the object is great, is... Less than 1, lighter than water, it will flow to some degree. If the density of the object is greater than 1, heavier siya, of course. And, syempre, yung mineral, it will sink. Sa example dyan ay yung quartz, galena, and gold. Lahat yan ay mas mataas sa water. Other special properties ng minerals, the taste, kapag tinikman, a few minerals have characteristic taste. Yung halite, pag tinikman mo siya, lasang maalat. Yung odor, pag inamoy-amoy mo din. A few minerals have characteristic odors. Clay minerals have an earthy smell. Ayan, yung amoy mundo, yung kanyang mineral. Another is yung striations. So, ito yung straight parallel lines sa meron sa, sa minerals na nagkakaroon ng flat surface. Kagaya niya, makikita niya sa ating picture. Ayan. Magnetism, kaya niya magmagnet ng bakal or na iron oxide or kalawang na attract siya sa magnet na meron sa isang lugar another special property is yung double refraction a clear mineral place over an image which will show two images by the light being split as it enters some crystalline minerals uh, ito naman double from the word double dalawa ang imaheng na perform dahil sa refraction o yung pagtama ng ilaw sa kanya. Example, yung calcite. Meron din tayong another special properties, yung x-ray fingerprint. When x-rays are directed through minerals, the x-rays are deflected out at specific angles. Hindi niya napepenetrate yung bato o yung mineral. Instead, nadideflect or napuputol niya to or nababali niya. Each mineral has a specific pattern. Another special property is yung chemical test. Kapag ang mineral ay nag-undergo ng chemical test, nagre-react sila sa mga specific chemicals. Isang example natin ay ang calcite or yung carbonate minerals, nagre-react nagre yan sa hydrochloric acid. Then, they will fizz the, pro the produced carbon dioxide gas. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng isang mineral na na naging subject for chemical testing. Tinan nyo po, no? 
from a solid, nagkaroon siya ng liquid formation sa loob. Kaya po, nagkakaroon siya ng special property. That's it, mga ka-learners. Hopefully, you've learned a lot from these educational videos that we have presented. Always remember, share your knowledge and apply your knowledge. You click the link below for the simple assessment that we have. Again, thank you so much, mga ka-learners. Don't, again, don't forget to like, make a comment, then share what you've learned, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, I Am Educado. Here's the link below. And also, huwag natin kalimutan sagutan ng mga assessment exam na sa comment section natin for the pre-test and the post-test. Thank you so much everyone.